OSR reference model uh, presented by Kalyanu Mukundi, version of ID Chautadi Gandhi. Here we are going to study about what is the OSR reference model, wow. the layers, and different sections. So, particularly, what is an OSR reference model? OSR reference model stands for Open System Intercom Interconnection. It is a reference model for how applications communicate over a network. The model specifically defines networking framework to implement protocols in sound layers. Uh, the a layer that provides RFP communication across a network that provides the path needed to be applicated above it. Now, the OSR reference model has seven layers. The Primary layer is physical layer, second layer is data link, third layer is network, fourth layer is transport, five layer, fifth layer is session, sixth layer is presentation, and the utmost layer is application. We transmit data and through the physical link it goes via which we receive the data. So, trick to remember is that Andrea Kamara succeeded with enough to do this, or all people seem to need data processing. That is how we remember the seven layers that are application, presentation, session, transport, network, data link, and physical. Layer 1, that is the physical layer. In the seven layer of SM model of computer networking, the physical layer or the layer 1 is the first and the lowest layer. It defines the means of transmitting raw bits rather than logical data packets over a physical link connecting network nodes. It provides electrical, mechanical and procedural interface to the transmission medium and the shapes and properties of the electrical connectors, the frequencies are to broadcast on and the line code to use and similar lower layer parameters are specified in this particular layer. The second layer is the data link layer and it is one of the second layers in the OSM model of computer networking. This layer is protocol layer that transfers data between adjacent network nodes in a wide area network LAN or between the nodes on the same local area network segment. Data link provides a function and procedural means to transfer data between yeah. network entities and might provide the means to detect and possibly correct the errors that may occur in the physical layers. This layer is divided in two sections that is the logical link control LLC and media access control map. The third layer is the network layer. This layer is responsible for packet forward, including routing through intermediate routers. This also provides a means of transferring variable net length network packets from a source to a destination host via one or more networks. Within the service layering semantics of the OSI network architecture, the network layer responds to service requests from the transport layer and issue service requests to the data link layer. Now, the fourth layer is the transport layer. In computer networking, the transport layer is conceptual division of methods in the layered architecture of protocol in the network stack, in the internet protocol suite and the open system interconnection. OSI reference model. The protocol of this layer provides host-to-host -host communication services for applications. It provides services such as connection-oriented communications, reliability, flow control, and multiplexing. It is used for connections-oriented transmission, whereas the connection less user data gram protocol UDP is used for simpler messaging transmissions. The reference to this layer is given in the diagram. Now the fifth layer is the session layer. The session layer provides a mechanism for opening and closing and managing a session between end user application process. That is a semi-permanent dialogue. Communication system consists 
uh, of session of request and respond that occur between application. Session layer services are commonly used in application on environments that make use of remote procedure called RC RPCS. The sixth layer is presentation layer. In the seven layer OSM model, computer networking presentation layer is the sixth layer and serves as the data that translates for the network. It is sometimes called the syntax layer as well. The presentation layer is responsible for delivery and formatting of information to the application layer for further processing or display. It relieves the application layer of concern regarding syntactical differences in data presentation within the end user system. An example of presentation service would be the conversation of EBC DIC, DIC coded text computer file to an ASCII coded file. And the last layer is the application layer. This is the seventh layer of the OSI model. An application layer is an abstraction layer that specifies the shared communication protocols and interface methods used by hosts in communication network. The application layer abstraction is used in both of the standard models of computing networking. The Internet Protocol to TCP, IP and the OSM model. Although both the models use the same term of further irrespective respective highest level layer, the detailed definitions and purposes are different. In TCIP IP, the application layer contains the communication protocol and interface methods used in process to process communication across an internet protocol IP computer network. That is all we have to know about OSI reference model. Thank you. Yeah.